Hi, I don't typically do voiceovers, but for this type of video, it would be really convenient for me and probably yourself as well because I hate editing text over my videos constantly. Yeah. Anyways, take this video as a guide to combos every character in UTPR. And I'll also be giving tips and tricks for every character so you can improve at them very easily. Starting off with Asgore, he is a decent starting character for those unsure who to pick, but his combos are pretty mediocre. What makes Asgore so good is his passive abilities. Super Armor and Fire. Talking about his Super Armor first, the way it functions is that Asgore will not have his move cancelled if he is stunned. It will only cancel if he takes knockback. Which means you can play some serious mind games with your opponent because it can be hard to predict. I also want to talk about his Trident move, Trident 1. It has the ability to cancel any move in the game, as well as applying Mute to your opponent. Mute makes it so they cannot use moves or teleport. Remember how I used Trident 1 to end off a combo? That makes it so you can easily use your fire moves to do passive damage. I try to use Fire 4 as much as possible since it summons hard to avoid walls of fire that will burn your opponent to a nice crisp. Phase 2 Asgore does not have that many differences other than all your moves dealing fire damage. If your opponent tends to circle you a lot, you can try using your 6th move since it spawns a counterclockwise spinning fire that is hard to dodge. And again, just like how you spam 4, try and spam 7 as much as you can since it's the same move. Quick side note, I forgot to mention all of Asgore's fire moves does not have super armor can be cancelled, so please remember that and thank you. Moving on to our next character, Azrael. When playing Azrael, you should always have your sabers equipped no matter what. They deal the most damage out of your normal punch combo. Speaking of his combo, it's pretty basic, but it's deadly. At 80 HP or lower, all of Azrael's attacks become faster and they dish out more damage. As for Azrael's second phase, his combo is pretty basic too. You can use Souls 5 to push your enemy far back. You can use Souls 6 as a decent combo starter, since it deals stun. You can use Souls 1 to deal damage to your opponent if they are blocking. And lastly, use your final God of Hyper Death move if your opponent can be punished by it. Ideally, you do not want to use it while really low on HP since it transfers to your third phase as well. Try and use it while above 65 HP if possible. Azrael's third phase combo is the same as phase 1, though in this phase Azrael slowly bleeds out while fighting and is a bit more weak. Next is Frisk. Frisk is one of my favorite characters. For some, Frisk can seem overwhelming at its surface. If it helps, try to imagine all your moves are condensed in the weapon wheel. It's good to learn when to weapon swap and when to heal. Personally, I try to stay in first phase for as long as possible, so I like to use items 1 and 2, and save items 3 for my second phase. If you're wondering why I didn't use gloves at all in this combo, it's because gloves become disabled after any type of damage you do. For a gloves combo, it should look pretty similar to what I've done earlier, just a little different. This will obviously do less damage, but the LMB from gloves is instant, which makes it really easy to get a punch in. You can also use the gun for a combo starter as well since it deals stun, and the final shot from the gun deals small knockback which you can extend off of. When you reach Phase 2 Frisk, their moveset becomes limited to only 5 moves. The move Knife 1 can now pick people up from the ground, which is really good for extending.
Phase 2 also has a new move, which is Frisk's ultimate move and deals the most damage. If your opponent is hard to reach, you can hold down 5 to do a ranged teleport right to your opponent. Do note that this takes away sound stamina, so watch out for that. Onto Sans, he currently has the most DPS out of any character at the moment. His combos are bare bones though. The most damage you can do in a combo is something like this. This combo has been a thing since Sans' release, which is hilarious. The best part about Sans is that his attacks will always deal damage even while stunned. His moves cannot be cancelled unless it's Blaster 2 or Bones 4. Other than that, Sans is simple and is a good must-have for new players. I recommend trying him out. I went over all the characters in the Undertale section, now we're going into the Glitchtail section. Kara is the first option, and by some, they're considered a combo master, with a ton of unique extenders in their arsenal. It's nice to experiment and see what type of combos you are able to do. I didn't include Bravery in this combo for the fact that it does so little damage. But it's useful for breaking players' blocks. It does tons of damage and stun if it lands on someone who is blocking. So always keep Bravery available and use it when applicable. For Phase 2, you unlock Hate. You can use Hate 1 if your opponent is low in stamina. After a 5 second windup, you summon a Hate Ball that tracks the person you're locked onto. This hate ball does a massive amount of damage. Also, as you can see in the background footage, you can actually land hate one on a phase two devil with max stamina without getting punished for it, so yeah, don't tell the devs, thanks. Undyne is next in the glitch tail list, and honestly, her first phase is extremely underwhelming. It acts more like a buffer phase, like a filler to phase two, so it feels more special. Although Undyne on phase one can do good damage, and the combo for her goes something like this. What makes Phase 2 so special for Undyne is her determination. It starts out at 100% and acts as natural health regeneration while you're fighting. You can also use 75% of your determination to phase transition, giving you more attack and defense for a select amount of time. Her ultimate takes ages to actually wind up, and the only time it would land is if your opponent is at zero stamina, so good luck with that. After she uses held 7, she still has some decent defense and attack, so it can be good to use your ultimate while in that phase to maintain good stats. Otherwise, if the timer runs out, you get permanently debuffed. And lastly, Jevil, the only character currently in the Deltarune category. His attack speed is dependent on his health. The only true combo you can do with him is this. But the reason why his combo potential is so limiting is because his first phase acts as a stun reliant character. His moves like 1, 2, and 3 all act as hard to dodge stunning moves. You can use two after the initial combo I showed to potentially extend further if it lands. It may not be a fully true combo, but it's difficult for your opponent to avoid. Now, what makes Phase 2 Jevil so special is that it completely wipes the table of the concept of being a stun character and immediately turns him into a combo or lion one. His damage can be scary. He has 122 attack and his combos last for a long time. I don't know why people hate playing Jevil so much. The damage he's capable of doing is insane. Anyways, that should be every character's best combos. 
I tried my best to explain good ways of using characters since some combos are pretty meh. I just hope that this video is helpful for you in some way or the other. And hey, since you watched till the end, I would really appreciate if you could subscribe. Because according to YouTube statistics, only 1% of my subscribers actually watch my videos. It would mean the world if you could. Thanks for watching to the end of the video. Please give me feedback in the comments and have a good day.